Hello lovely people, welcome to Fram Strings. I'm Henriette and today we're practicing Frère Jacques. I'll play it for you first. Why don't you sing it along with me? Uh, <laughs> So let's grab your violin, check out your finger line, check out your thumb so that it's upright and it's just peeking over the edge and check out that tennis ball shape of your hand like that. There we go. So we're practicing the first finger on the G string. Are you playing it with me? And we play it again. And again. If you sound like this, for instance, oh, you're not quite in the right place. How do I know where my fingers should go? Look, I can play this. Da, 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 da. Perhaps you can sing that interval in your head, and then you know exactly where that finger is going to go. Now, this time, we're going to play the last line. So we're going to go from the D string, D, one on G, D, from there we will go. Ready? One, two. That's coming. Shall we do it again? Just that last line. Here we go on D and... Okay, so they go. You make your bows a little bit shorter as well. The short bows, uh, the ones without the line, they play on half a bow, don't they? So those mini notes can go about like that. Okay, let's play that third line. So we're playing A, one, A. Then we'll take a little break to sort out our third finger on D. And then we're carrying on. So from the third line, and swap to the D string, three fingers, up to the middle, and back, carry on. Take a little while to sort your finger out. Well done, let's do that line again, shall we? The third line, and... Check out your finger line, check out your thumb, check out your tennis ball, check out your bowl hold as well. Ready? And... Oh, 
well, well done. Now when you've just played this piece, it may well be that you find this way too fast still. And that's completely normal. Please don't despair if that's you, if you find it very, very difficult to keep up with me. Just practice it at your own pace away from the video. And then in two days time, try playing it again with me on the video and you'll suddenly find that you're getting a whole lot better at it. Now one other piece of advice is you've noticed some bits that most people find a bit difficult, such as, for instance, going here, playing that last note. We have separated out from the rest of the music, so we've taken it apart and thought about it uh, in isolation, separate from the rest of the music. So if you find one particular place in this piece where you keep getting stuck, why not just forget about all the rest of the piece and sort out that little section? So for instance, I know that some people find the middle of the second line very tricky. And what you can do now is play up to the point where you're a little bit confused, then stop and think about it and take it on from there. So I'll show you what I mean. Here, if you don't know quite what to do, sort out the bow first. What is the bow doing? Okay, the bow is going to go to the D string. What is the left hand doing? Okay, two fingers on D. And then you can carry on from here. You see how I practice particularly tricky sections separately from the rest of the music. So if you, for instance, have done the second line and practice that middle of the second line three or four times in a row, then you're bound to do much better when you play it from the beginning to the end. Go on then, let's play it one more time, shall we? Let's join it all up from the beginning. So this time I want you to work on the violin hold. So slide that violin high up on your shoulder so that the corner of your jaw here is on the chin rest. You know uh, that I'm not a great fan of this name of this thing, the chin rest, because it should be a jaw rest. So make sure that your jaw is on the chin rest. All right, and then we're going to put the bow down on the D string because that's where we're starting. After four. One, two, three, four. surprise your teacher like that and you learn it very very well so good luck with that stick with it and keep keep up your practice I look forward to seeing you again soon if you haven't already done so do subscribe to the channel and he'll hit that bell button for me thank you so much goodbye <laughs>